Hi, this is Josh Bayless, creator of CatholicMove.com, where we help men become better husbands, fathers, and friends. And today's video is about how to receive Holy Communion. Yes, there is a right way and there's a wrong way, and you just might be shocked to hear the information I'm going to share with you. So stay tuned. Facts that will change the way you are receiving Holy Communion. Before we get started, be sure to visit CatholicMove.com and sign up to our mailing list because you're going to want to be a part of this movement. There are a couple ways people receive Holy Communion. One is on the hand and the other is on the tongue. By far, the most common way to receive Holy Communion today is on the hand. But it wasn't always that way. In fact, before 1977, everyone in the U.S. received Holy Communion on the tongue. So what happened? I'm going to tell you, but first, let me tell you my story. I grew up in a small Catholic town in Kansas. There was actually two different Catholic churches in my town. One celebrated the traditional Latin Mass, the other celebrated the New Mass. I attended the New Mass, sometimes called Novus Ordo Mass. These two Catholic churches did things very differently. For example, I was taught to receive Holy Communion in my hand. That's me in front of Father Decket during my first Holy Communion. And the kids in traditional Latin Mass were taught to receive Holy Communion on their tongue. So which is right? Let me give you a hint. Even though I was taught to receive Holy Communion in my hand, it didn't feel right, because I was also taught that Holy Communion was our Lord Jesus Christ, and I didn't feel worthy holding Jesus in my hand. But is receiving Holy Communion on your hand wrong? Yes. Here's why. Remember when I said before 1977, everyone in the U.S. received Holy Communion on the tongue? Well, that's only part of the story. It actually started eight years prior, in 1969. Holland, Belgium, West Germany, and France disobediently allowed Holy Communion in the hand. In response to this disobedience, Pope Paul VI reluctantly permitted an indult. An indult is a license granted by the Pope authorizing an act that common law of the Church does not sanction basically an exception to the rule. So the Pope gave these four countries an exception. And it should be noted that any Pope at any time can cancel this indult. Moreover, Pope Paul VI only allowed Holy Communion in the hand under very specific rules, which he describes in the Memorali Domini, the instruction on the manner of administering Holy Communion. I'm not going to go into detail of what the Memorali Domini states because I encourage you to read it yourself very carefully. And I think when you do, you'll be shocked because you'll realize that the Pope actually said the Holy Father has decided not to change the existing way of administering Holy Communion to the faithful. And he reluctantly gave this exception only in the places where the practice was already prevailing. Do you remember which places? That's right, Holland, Belgium, West Germany, and France. Nowhere else. Additionally, Pope Paul VI and the majority of the bishops believed that the present way of receiving Holy Communion on the tongue should not be changed. That is a fact. One of the biggest reasons they didn't want to change it was they were afraid people would stop believing in the true presence, stop showing reverence to our Lord, and treat the body of Christ with the same regard as a cookie. So why are so many people receiving Holy Communion in the hand? Well, they aren't supposed to. Progressive cardinals and bishops ignored nearly everything in the Memorali Domini and did what they wanted, and within a decade, the irreverent practice spread all over the world. 
Cardinal Joseph Bernadine tried to introduce this practice to the U.S. in 1975 and 1976, and he failed. However, Cardinal Bernadine had an agenda, and he proceeded to push it, even though at the time the American Catholics showed no interest in receiving Holy Communion in the hand. In May of 1977, according to the National Catholic Conference of Bishops meeting minutes, Cardinal Bernadine once again introduced communion in the hand, despite the disapproval of many bishops. Cardinal Bernadine pushed his agenda forward, ignoring the specific rules that Pope Paul VI cited in Memorali Domini. And in May of 1977, communion in the hand was introduced and force-fed to the Catholic Diocese of the United States. And that's why I was taught to receive Holy Communion in my hand. But just to be clear, I'm not here to vilify Cardinal Bernardin. I'm here to tell you the facts so that you know the truth and you can make a decision. So now that you know, what are you going to do about it? Please visit catholicmove.com slash holycommunion and don't forget to sign up to our mailing list. For doing so, we will send you a free Catholic Men of Valor prayer book.